Alaska. I'm doing a little fishing with some entrepreneurs at the Genius Network. Joe Polish put this whole uh, fishing trip together. I think I got myself a small dog. And Mike Koenigs is my actual roommate. That's right. We get to bunk together, Mike. I'll tell you what. Uh, but man, I've had some fun You've here. Been slaying them, I'm getting telling like crazy you. Woo. Hundreds of pounds of fish. Every Alaska, day. there's yeah. fish here. It is anyway. breathtaking. You know, all these guys here have a great deal of respect for you. And I sat down with you, and I know that you wrote one book, and then you said, no, you wrote how many books? 13. Yeah, and I've helped over 1,700 become best selling authors in less than five years. Goodness gracious. Well, they told me about this thing that you did called Cancerpreneur. Yeah. Talk about this. So six years ago, as of right now, I was diagnosed with stage 3A cancer. I had probably less than six months left to live. And uh, I, of course, set out because at the time I had a, a boy who was nine years old. And I wanted to be there and survive at least until he was 18. So I hacked the cancer process. I figured out a system for survival. And as a result, I know I've helped uh, save a lot of uh, people's lives because as my own mitzvah, as we'd say, I uh, made it my purpose that anyone who ever heard that they had cancer, they could come to me and I'd speak with them or a friend of a friend or a family member. It got to the point where I was getting so many calls, so many requests to support people as they went through the transition that I finally took everything that I knew and turned it into a book. And the whole idea behind Cancerpreneur is there are over, um, right now there's several million people get diagnosed with cancer every year. There's about 30 some percent, 30 some percent of the population are entrepreneurs. It turned out there were no resources for entrepreneurs who get cancer. Because not only do you need to survive, your business needs to survive, you've got to help your marriage survive, your relationship with your children, and the relationship with your customers. So I combined a, a five step survival manual with how to manage and maintain all those relationships so all of them are intact when you survive. I'll give you a place to get the manuscript for free, anyone who wants a copy of it, to wow. share with their friends and family. Well, all the entrepreneurs listening, that's very generous, and thank we thank you. you for that. Yeah. Um, your journey, where did it start to becoming an entrepreneur? Uh, I was born in a small town called Eagle Lake, Minnesota, population 763. My dad's a barber, uh, and I grew up lower middle class and poor, and growing up, um, I'm the oldest of four kids. We grew up catching fish, eating out of the garden. Didn't have much money. My dad worked five jobs. You know, in addition to being a, uh, a barber, he was the building inspector, the city clerk of the town. He played guitar at rest homes. Very kind, giving man. But he wasn't around um, and with four kids. Um, we were late and last for everything. And we also, it's colder than heck in Minnesota. So if someone ever asked me, Mike, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'd say, I want to be warm, first, and rich. And what happened was I started working as soon as I could. I always dreamed of having my own business because I was horrible in school, a straight D student at best. You know, your typical ADHD kid. I felt like an alien growing up in this yeah, little bitty You're describing town. me too, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All of us entrepreneurs are. You know, as we have the alien story as our origin story. And what wound up happening is I started building and getting tools, and I taught myself how to program when I was 14 years old with the goal of leaving to go work for Apple someday. And I ended up teaching myself how to write video games. So that was one of the first things that I did, and from there I started an agency in Minneapolis. Uh, after nine years, I sold it to a publicly traded company. I made a movie, and then, you know, things went from there. Wait so a minute, just, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You made a movie, too? <laughs> yeah, what haven't yeah. you done? Yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Yeah. So where do you think the cancer come from? Did you actually ever look into it and find Absolutely. out? Absolutely. So I happen to believe that uh, cancer is caused by a toxic lifestyle, a toxic mental Stress, state. yeah. Yes, absolutely. And I was definitely living a cancer lifestyle. I was working constantly, nonstop, under an enormous amount of stress. By then I had my third real business. And what wound up happening is I uh, started leaving blood spots. I had uh, stage three colorectal cancers. So the bottom line is um, I started feeling a little weird and I went in, had my colonoscopy and I had a five centimeter tumor. And the doctor came out after the scope work and he said, look, I don't need to see this thing and get a biopsy to know what you have. He says, you get that thing cut out of you, you're gonna be dead in six months. So from there, um, the way the journey went, 
I uh, went home to see my parents. I looked at them in the eyes, and I just knew I'd be fine. I told them, you know, here's what's going on. I'm going to be fine. Um, came back, had surgery. Then I went through uh, about four months of uh, intravenous chemotherapy. And uh, then I went to uh, Duke for 33 radiation treatments plus oral chemo. And uh, I'd wake up in a pile of my own hair every morning. And uh, I had a, maybe an hour of strength a day. I mean, chemo and radiation knocks you out. And uh, that's when I thought I could have definitely died or I could have flipped off the switch. And I decided to write a book. And Was that um, therapy for you? It was, very much. And what was interesting is when the treatments were done, I came home and a whole bunch of people read my book. And in fact, um, the first stop I made from that trip <clears throat> is uh, I, along the way I'd, started, I'd done some consulting with, with work with Tony Robbins. And I got a speaking gig at uh, the uh, Business Mastery event. So the, I doubled up my radiation treatments to two a day, two times, because I left the hospital and uh, landed in uh, Las Vegas to speak on stage on my way home. So before I even made it back home to San Diego, I spoke at, at Tony's stage. And my book was done. We gave it to everyone in the audience. And it became you know, an experience. A lot of people said, how in the hell did you write a book? while you were going through cancer in less than a month. I made it a bestseller in less than a month. And I turned it into a course, and then from there, that turned into a whole, uh, uh, basically a franchise that's helped 1,700 people. It was called Author Expert Marketing Machines. I'd written yeah, 13 books in really five years, and I just made it my mission to help uh, people share their message in any circumstance with no limitations or reasons why not.